Good morning from a Tony. Hi, Tony. And a CJ. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> That's right. We got him a sun tent when we went to Ikea yesterday because he was such a good listener when we were actually in the store. And the reason for our visit was a little table desk thing because we wanted Charles's desk to no longer be on the dining room table. I want my dining room table back. <laughs> yes, so, we all want the table. We bought a desk. So some of the smaller desks that we were looking at were about oh, 100, 120 bucks. We just went to the dining room table area. This was for 40. It's pretty much exactly the same thing that we have now. Yeah. It's just small. So the idea is this is going to sit right there. Or right here. Yeah, because I think it's, what, 23 inches by 40-ish, if I remember right? Sounds about right. So it's not incredibly big, but it's big enough that all that is going to fit onto there. And we're going to get a table back. I was looking in there to see what tools I would need, but I'm not sure what tools I need until I open it up. So You, you never really do know with Ikea what all tools you are going to need. It said no tools come with it, but... You never know. It's thinner. Oh, that is thin. It is thin. It should be the same height, though. It looks like it'll be about the same height. So let's cut it open. It does say do not cut down here. I oh, so that you don't scrap. Yeah. But I'm going to cut it out like that and then just magically we'll do that. I'm not sure which one it is. It's the top. and a quarter by 26 and 3 eighths. Hey, I was pretty close. I really don't know how we can mess this up. It's just four pegs and you screw them in. Hey, it's... That's at least what that picture sells. But I think that's just a demonstration picture. It is a different table. But we kind of assumed that, so... I would, no, actually, I was assuming that it was just this one. Yeah, if it's metal, it's completely different. It just came with an Allen wrench and a pressing wrench. Hmm. I thought that it was didn't come with any, any. Maybe the top didn't come with any tools because you didn't need them. Possibly. I thought I read somewhere that it didn't. Hmm. But just looking at it from dimension there, that'd be the top of the table. That's going to fit just fine. That's exactly what I was looking for. What? Peanut butter. Okay, then. Okay, super simple. Right? I'm, Supposedly. I'm hoping. I'm just looking at a quick glance. All this should be. Screw these main frames down. And screw the other side down. Make on the inside, so it should just go like it. Open up. So what did you think about going to Ikea in this chaotic world? Well, first off, they required masks for everyone, which we kind of figured they might. Well, you want to tell them first about how we uh, showed up twice? Oh yes, we showed up twice. So we went right away in the morning, like maybe 10.45 is when we got there. About there. Yeah. There was a humongous line just to get into the store. So we decided, eh, we're not gonna do that. It is a big one. And then we showed up again about uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock, somewhere about there. Well, we didn't go we kind of went specifically for this, but we had other things to do. At the time, we didn't realize that they were throttling people into the building. Which, that was on us to not know that that was happening. 
Right. We didn't quite check everything. Like, I checked whether we needed masks or not. And that was about it. But, anyway, we went through, we got there, we said, no, we don't need to do this right now. Because it probably, it, switchbacks lines went probably to the second or third time. So, I guess let me step back. The way that they had the line set up is they have a double layer garage. Like this is the garage. They have double layer parking on the top and they got some parking over here on the side and the main entrance is right here, right? So under the cover, they had switchbacks going like this. And they were using the the, the parking, parking lines. The, what? Parking spaces. Parking spaces, yep. They were using the parking spaces for indications of where you can and can't stand. For social distancing. For social distancing as you would go inside. Brilliant, by the way, using what they already have. But as they were doing that, it, it switched back like two or three times. We're like, this isn't what we need to do right now. If we feel like we can come back later in the day. Mm -hmm. Did everything else we were doing for the day. We came back, what, seven? No, 536. Somewhere about there. Sure. We left at about seven. You left to come home? Yeah. Seven? Okay. So, okay. So we were there around that time. There was maybe three or four groups ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't horrible. No. But they were throttling people going in. So what it seemed like, I don't have any confirmation on this, what it seemed like is they had someone taking a head count as people were going out. And then they were using the radio to call back to the front and say, okay, you can have so many groups come. You didn't have to, it makes sense why they would do it in groups instead of individual people, because you're not really socially distancing as a family as you're going in there. It's not a big deal. But it did look like they were offering masks to people who didn't have masks. At least at the one that we were at. Mm -hmm. So that was appreciative, but we had our own mask. We brought them, we brought our own. So that wasn't a big deal at all. Mm -hmm. And they only had one entrance. Please don't touch. So you entered one way, exited the other way. Yeah, but IKEA usually does that. That's, that's how it's set up anyway. Well, you can still go in for sure two ways, depending on which side of the garage you go in. Right. They, Yes. From, okay, I understand what you're talking about now. Mm -hmm. They do have, the, there's one main entrance at the Ikea next to Mall of America, is that it's, it's a center entrance and you got parking on both sides. And then you enter from either that way or that way. They had the one area blocked off. Yep. So, but the entrance is completely different from the exit. It's just one central exit, so that's not a big deal, but the entrance, yes. One centralized location, they just had one of the doors blocked off. Yes. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> I understand what's going on. And this little guy did so good wearing his mask mm -hmm. that he got that. And he was helping us pick out things and he actually got to push the cart. You had someone compliment you on how well you were pushing the cart and wearing your mask. Yeah. You did very well. <laughs> We didn't really do anything special with him, just... We let him pick which mask he wanted to wear because mm -hmm. um, one of his grandparents made him three or four different kinds. So he got to pick which picture he wanted to have for his mask. Because they made fun little ones. And so you're doing the little end bracket piece? Yep, I'm doing a little end bracket piece. Oh, that looks like you need like three or four hands. No, well, we're good. What's interesting about it is, is that it's flexible. Oh, it like locks in place. Yeah, it, it locks. Huh. And then what the only thing that holds that together is the leg it sits on here and we screw the leg into it. Hmm. So there's really only these, these three connector points these are the only three connector points that are actually holding it to the table itself. Huh. So just 
has a little extra wiggle room and as you tighten it in this way it it bites mm -hmm. and keeps it stable that's interesting well that saves on a couple more screws so. yeah go them yeah we're almost done so now actual <laughs> legs now the legs we screw them into it it's pretty simple here you just do the bolt with the washer use the, the wrench there and screw it in Hand tighten on all these just to get them in there, and that's that's another reason why just to kind of hand tighten them, make sure they're all in there. Wow, this is way simpler than what I thought it was going to be. It was way simpler than the dining table. Oh yeah. Well, that one was just big and bulky. Well, and it has moving that. pieces. It too. That's true. Did we show them that? That it extends when we got that? You know, I don't remember even if we did a video on it. I think we just kind of did it. Oh. Well, I'm not actually going to take it apart. Well, maybe after we move everything, we can do a video on it. But extreme basic premise is that the whole thing moves off to the side and you got the hidden table piece. The, the, leaf, the leaf is actually underneath. Mm -hmm. the main table piece and it comes out and it locks into place so extra storage it has its own little storage compartment storage efficiency hey ikea is great for that it's true Ooh, i'm gonna get hit and big merry-go-round feels very stable right now and I've just done hand tights. Well, I think the metal framing helps with making it feel a bit more stable to you. Yeah, I would agree with that. But even just the fact that I have not that technically locked in. Mm-hmm. But looking at some of the other like, official desks, like defined as a desk, what we were really looking for is just something that wouldn't look awkward. Really what I wanted was to get something that we could use now to get my table back, get my dining room table back and I have to dig out the uh, card table every single day. And have this big enough to actually utilize as a desk. But when we move into a house. Or when we get an official desk. Whichever one. Whichever one comes first. Um, I wanted this to be used as either a decorative thing somewhere that doesn't scream desk. I didn't. I didn't want something like that. Which is why I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't match completely. Because now this. I mean, it still matches kind of the color scheme that we're going with. Is dark. Darker dark, furniture. Dark furniture. Or accents. But. It, it's okay as long as we could have used this for more of a just placement area later and doesn't just scream desk when all this blows over. Because when we get an office or get something like that, I want something, I want to buy something. I want to buy something that's going to fit the space mm -hmm. that we would use for a desk. And depending on how big the space is, we might get an actual desk and this is just a table that just so happens to be in there. That would be fine. But, you know, Voila. it be done. This was 40 bucks. So this is, when we saw, when we saw that, we were walking through I kind of said absolutely yes. It's actually taller than the table. Mm, yeah, it's slightly taller. I don't think by too much. Very stiff. I mean, it's wobbly because it's on the carpet, but 
I like it. What? I'm probably gonna put a towel down. At least somewhat we've got like right there where the the stand the stand will eventually like permanently put grooves into it. Yeah, we don't want that. No. I like it. What? Computer stand. The stand's huge, so that's gonna go out right there. Um, keyboard typey type. And then docking station on one of the sides. One of the sides, yeah. If I got enough room, I might move it over and actually use the docking station like as a third monitor. But why really, would you do that? Well, I haven't used it that way for a while, so <laughs> not horrible. Yeah. But it works. What? And we got a gaming office -y chair um, coming in the mail from Amazon. Supposed to be here in two weeks. Got an update this morning. We'll have it next this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get it a week early. Yeah, because it happy. it said it wasn't gonna get in stock until next week, and then possible shipping the week after. And apparently they got it in. <laughs> if anyone has access to IKEA and you're getting tired of using it, using your dining room table taking up a whole lot of space, I, I think this is very reasonable for forty bucks. Yeah, and I'll try and find it on Ikea's website so I can actually put the, uh, wow, you can't get more perfect you, you, than that. I don't think you can get that more perfect. But, but I will maybe, maybe try maybe and more. find it on Ikea's site and put that link down in the description. That way, if you guys do want it, I'm pretty sure they're doing a whole bunch of delivery systems right now. So yeah, you, you said can... they were doing specials on delivery because they're throttling people. Yeah, just because people haven't been able to actually go there and then now they're throttling people. I think a lot of places are doing specials on deliveries. And that's really small, so you probably wouldn't have a too big of charge no matter what. It's kind of weird for delivery. I don't know how I don't know how they do deliveries though. No. I don't know. We've never tried that. We've just always gone and done it. But yeah, that's, you know Tony is going to be under there. Uh, he sits there. That's where he sits every single day when I'm working. Oh, it's your knee. It's like my human is here, I'm going to sit next to him. So now I gotta figure out a place to put that thing because that's gonna be too far away. He's gonna have an issue. Yeah. I'm still not sure this is where I want it, but. We'll figure it out. When we saw the box, we saw the size, we were like, I bet that'll fit there. And it fits perfect. Mm -hmm. well, if anyone's wondering about exact measurements, we're about two and a, 26 and a half inches by 43 and a half inches. And then how tall? Tall, the actual table, about 29 and a quarter, 20 and a half, and we can, 29 and a quarter. Anything else that we wanted to tell them? This is the first time doing this in like a month. We're sorry we didn't actually film in Ikea, but we weren't actually sure if we were gonna be able to film in there, do whatever yeah. we needed to do, but that, everything seemed exactly the same except for they were throttling people going in. And you had to wear a mask. We'll probably put a picture, or at least a quick little film of everything that's on that desk over here show you the pretty table that we have access to again. Yes. We'll see you guys in the next video. What do we say? Bye-bye. All right, there's the setup. Exactly the way it was before, just scrunched together.